Good morning. It's Tuesday, May 11th, and I'm going to read you a story. Um, it's a story, and the title of it is Joseph Had a Little Overcoat. The author is, I think I'm pronouncing that correct. So this is another one of my son's books that I got for him because it had his name in the um, title. So here we go. So here's our title page and it says, Joseph had a little overcoat. He wore the coat for a long time and then something happened to it. And there's a moral too. So a moral is like a lesson. I like these illustrations also. Different colors and patterns. Joseph had a little overcoat. It was old and worn. Look at that picture. Look at all these farm animals. So he made a jacket out of it and went to the fair. You see all the people at the fair? Joseph had a little jacket. It got old and worn. Let's see what he makes. It got old and worn. So look at that. He's going to make a vest. So he made a vest out of it and danced at his nephew's wedding. There's our wedding picture. Joseph had a little vest. It got old and worn. What do you think he's going to make next? So he made a scarf out of it and sang in the men's chorus. Joseph had a little scarf. It got old and worn. And there's his farm animals again. I wonder what he's going to make. So he made a necktie out of it and went to visit his married sister in the city. And there's the city. He must live on a farm in the country. And then he visits in the city. Joseph had a little necktie. It got old and worn. So he made a handkerchief out of it and drank a glass of hot tea with lemon. Looks like a cozy little kitchen. Joseph had a little handkerchief. It got old and worn. He's going to bed. He's tired. So he made a button out of it and used it to fasten his suspenders. So here's his buttons he made out of his, his handkerchief. Joseph had a little button. One day he lost it. Oh, are the cat and dog helping him find it? Now he had nothing. Oh no, he can't find the button. So Joseph made a book about it, which shows you can always make something out of nothing. And there's his animals again. And then on the last page, it just tells a little bit about um, the author. And he says he had a favorite song called I Had a Little Overcoat when he was a child. And that's how he kind of came up with the story. And then it actually has the music. So not only an interesting story, I love all the colorful pictures that go along with it. All right. So tomorrow we're going to have our morning meeting. And if you didn't see the post, um, if you would like to try to play Go Fish, we're going to... I attached some cards for you to print out 
and it's just two pages of little pictures and we'll try to play a little game using our core word do. See you later.